I think one of the worst scenarios you can find yourself in is when you're riding in a car with someone and they hand you the aux cord and they say, hey, why don't you play some music for a while? And then you look at your phone and all you have is some anime soundtracks and a few Death Grips albums. But luckily, I have found a way to avoid this problem completely. These are five songs that you could consider Kino that still appeal to popular tastes. Now pretty much any song from Initial D will suit this cause, but I'm personally gonna pick Running in the 90s as uh, my first recommendation because you put this song, first off, it's slap. It's a good old fashioned late 90s, early 2000s beat, and it's gonna make your road trip go about 100 times faster because your driver will be compelled to floor the gas and to drift around every corner that you come across. My second recommendation is to just put on one of those anime study gaming channels. This is gonna literally cost you hundreds of dollars in data, but it's gonna be worth it because you're literally never gonna have to play another song, but your parents might kill you when they realize you wasted your entire monthly data plan in about two hours. I know I talked at the beginning of the video about Death Grips not really having an appeal to uh, popular taste, but there is a few select songs from their many albums that I feel will pass in a pinch. And one of these songs is, uh, you know, it just has a low key beat. The rapping isn't just absolute yelling. So if you're in a pinch and all you have is your old death grips, this is a good, reliable tune. I think probably the most Kino popular artist that's made music in the past 10 years is probably Kanye West. So really any song by him, preferably one of his singles if you're really going for a popular crowd. But don't be afraid to drop a deep cut, you know? Drop like a big brother or like a Diamonds from Sierra Leone remix on them. Don't just defer to Gold Digger or like Stronger, you know, stay away from those. But you know, introduce your friends to one of his like deeper songs and they'll be impressed, I guarantee it. The last track you should keep in your back pocket is actually a bit of a double feature, but they're both based on geographical locations, so I think they really pair well together. And of course I'm referring to Africa by Toto, not Carl Wolf, and Land Down Under by Men at Work. And really these two songs, they're like super old, from like the 1980s or whatever, so I bet your parents are gonna dig them as well. Anyways, that's all the songs I had to share with you today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Just uh, please don't cry, because there's more coming in the future. <laughs>